Hey folks, welcome to part one of a two-part series on how to set up a Pine Research fully integrated spectroelectrochemistry system. Whoa, that is a mouthful. In part one, we'll be going over the hardware, the cable connections, the spectroelectrochemical cell, and in part two, which will be a separate video, we'll be going over the software installation and setup. This system utilizes a Pine Research WaveNow or WaveDriver potentiostat, a honeycomb spectroelectrochemical cell, and an Avantes fiber optic based spectrometer and light source. First, let's go over the equipment. I've written down a list of all the equipment that is needed to set up the fully integrated spectroelectrochemical system. You can pause the video to make sure you have all the items listed before continuing on to the setup. Setting up the spectroelectrochemistry system can be broken down into several sections. Setting up the potentiostat, setting up the spectroscopy equipment, spectrometer and light source, setting up the spectroelectrochemical cell, and lastly, integrating all of them together. In this demonstration, we will start with setting up a WaveNow potentiostat. To set up the potentiostat, simply plug the power cord into the WaveNow to give it power, and connect the USB cable between the potentiostat and your computer. To set up the spectrometer and light source, first plug in the USB cable into the spectrometer and computer. The USB cable both controls and provides power to the spectrometer. The light source, on the other hand, is powered using a power cord, so make sure that's plugged in. For the spectroelectrochemical cell, first place the cap on top of the quartz cuvette. Make sure that the slot on the cap is in line with the slot in the cuvette. Next, place your honeycomb electrode inside the slot such that the mini USB connector doesn't block the breakout reference electrode port. Then place your reference electrode into the slot next to the honeycomb electrode. Now, the last step is to connect everything together. First, we want to connect the potentiostat to the honeycomb electrode. To do this, plug in the cell cable into the potentiostat. The cell cable is terminated with a mini USB style connector and a white breakout reference port for the reference electrode. Plug in the mini USB into the honeycomb electrode and then connect the white breakout lead into the reference electrode. Next, we will use the integration cable to connect the potentiostat, spectrometer, and light source together. Connect the green block connector to the potentiostat. The 15 pin D connector to the light source and the 26-pin D connector to the spectrometer. Next, you will need to connect the light source to the cuvette using a fiber optic cable. Note that fiber optic cables are made out of glass and have a natural bend to them. Be careful that you do not bend the cable too much, otherwise it might break and the cable loses its ability to transmit light. After connecting the light source to the cuvette, you then want to use another fiber optic cable to connect the spectrometer to the other side of the cuvette. You should have everything physically set up to perform spectroelectrochemistry experiments. All right, folks, this concludes part one of our two-part series. Hopefully you have all of the physical hardware set up. In part two, the next video, we'll be going over installing and setting up the software so that all the instruments are running. All right, I'll see you soon.